Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do two sample t-test on R Commander. R Commander is a package that you can install from R. This is a very easy package to use. Uh, you can uh, do a lot of uh, hypothesis testing just by using few of these steps. You don't need to go through many difficult complex processes. So let's get started by importing the data from Excel file, give it a name to your data file, my data maybe. So now choose your data. So once you import your data, you wanna visualize your data by summarizing it, go to statistics, summaries, and then active data set. So in my data set, I have these seven variables, three of the variables are numerical variables. So I am going to use two of my numerical variables to run the test. So now let's focus on two sample t-test. So why do you actually need to do two sample t-tests? So basically what it does is, it tells you the difference of the mean between two variables. Like for example, I have this leave number and length. I wanna know the difference of the mean value between these two variables. That's where you run the test. So to run the test, go to statistics, mean, independent sample t-test. When you go here, you see, in the first box, which is the representative of explanatory variable, you cannot see the ex, uh, uh, numerical variable. So there's something wrong. You have to do something before running the test. So what you have to do is that you have to stack your numerical variables. How to do that? Go to data, active data set, stack variables in active data set. Now you have these three numerical variables here. I will choose maybe two of them, leave number and length. So I'll hit OK. Now we are all set to run the test. So go to statistics, mean, independent sample t-test. Now see that settings has been changed. This is your explanatory, this is your response variable. That is what you created by stacking the variables. And in this option section, you have options to change confidence interval. They have given you 95%. You can do it at 90%, but I will just leave it like that. So I'll hit OK. So this is basically the output of our result. So the t-value they have given, df, p-value. So one thing you must remember, any test you run, you uh, compare your p-value with the significance level. So on our commander, usually the significance level is given 0 0.05. So our p-value is lower than that. The lower the p-value, the more the significant the result is. Since our value is pretty low, we can say that we reject the null hypothesis. Then we accept our alternative hypothesis, which, which says true difference in mean is not equal to zero. That means the difference of mean between our two variables, leave number and length, is not zero. So we rejected the null hypothesis. You can also get the uh, idea of 95% confidence interval. It also helps you to understand that your result was significant. See. It says that there is 95% chance that the mean difference falls between 1.39 to 4.27. So yeah, that means that the, two, uh, the difference in mean is not equal to zero. So in conclusion, we can say that yes, we reject the null hypothesis because our, our p-value is significant and our 95% confidence intervals falls between these two values. Yeah, this is basically the basics of two sample t-test. Uh, you also need to remember that when you run t-sample t-test, your variables must uh, meet the assumptions of the t-sample t-test. Uh, I mean, your variables needs to be randomly collected and they, sh they should be normally distributed. They cannot be right or left uh, skewed. So these are some of the assumptions that you must remember before running the test. So yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next tutorial.